Yo, what's up, sexy similar squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1, and today I'm not really sure what I want to do. So here's the thing. I know that I've been neglecting Guardians, okay? I know it. Everyone knows it. We all, everyone sees it. But here's the thing. <laughs> I don't want to. You understand? Like, uh, there's a want. And then there's, like, content. And then there's, like, nothing. You know what I mean? Like, like no want. I'm a content creator, so it makes sense to. Should I just lock in your and go book and tablet? And then Chronos Pendant. And then Breastplate, assuming they're a physical god. And just chuck shit at them. And poke them down with my one. Honestly, it sounds kind of fun. Ah, fuck it. That's not who I was hoping to see. <laughs> That's okay. We haven't lost until we lost, you know? And I think this... Did the lights in the house just flicker? No? Interesting. I'm seeing things. It might be my future. It's it's dark and filled with many gray screens in this video game. But still potentially workable. Potentially workable. What's my cooldown on my one? 11.2 if I max it. So I am going to max it. I'm maxing my one. I'm going poke build, boys. I'm going poke build. Love it or hate it doesn't matter to me. I'm poking. And I'm probably going to have to go meditation because my one-two combo probably won't even clear the wave and it also costs half my mana bars. So that's that. It's actually the same guy I fought for the first game. Hello. What if I went, what if I quick casted with my one? So I could actually see where it lands. Boom. I'm actually owning this guy right now. Okay, that's slightly annoying. I'm gonna med all the way over here so he can't see me. And then I'm not gonna go for the buff because I feel like I will be deceased. I go for the red. Instead. Oh, I tried to juke it. Yikes. Damn it. I almost found him. All right, does he know I backed, though, is the real question. Or is he going to go for the wave? He went for the wave because he doesn't know that I backed. Ooh, look at that little sneaky tech. Little sneaky tech there. He can't stop me from, from getting an advantage if he doesn't know that I backed. Poifix. Yeah, you are backing, and I am not caring, and I'm getting your blue buff, and then, then, good sir, I'm going to kill these minions, albeit a bit slowly, and then I'm going to get this red buff, or I won't, you never know, never mind, I got it, nice. And now I'll back. And I should go tablet and start stacking it early, but I'm going to be a little bit greedy and I'm going to go for my Book of Thoth stacks because that's going to be a bigger immediate power spike for me. And then... Uh-oh, Cheerio. This Jormungandr is going to get triple buffs. Perfect. And my one is getting lower and lower on cooldown. Shout out to my leveling abilities. 
It's a 10.8 next level. It takes a whole second off pretty much. That's feeling good. All right. The chests are going to spawn. They just did. I'm bringing you. You're coming with me, buddy. I'm not going to detonate because I don't feel the need to. I missed. Oh, he missed too, though. It's okay. Oh my god, my auto attacks just shredded him. What's the what's the game plan, Capitan? You're alting? Ouch. Why did you alt though? Like out of everything you could have done, alting was an option and it was probably the worst one. Just straight up. I shouldn't have done that. Ouch. Oh my god, but I do so much damage. It doesn't even matter if I shouldn't have done that. The dude almost died. I looked at him funny and he almost keeled over. Jeez. All right, we have tier two book again. He's going to go defense, which means it's going to be harder for me to actually do any damage to him. But I'm fine with that because I'm just going to throw my one at him and leave puddles everywhere. And whenever he steps in it, it's going to stack my tablet. Once I, you know, get my tablet. <laughs> I was going to say like, hey, I could hide around this corner, but like you can't really hide with this character. He's kind of the largest character in the game. Ah, uh, Cthulhu might be bigger. Actually. Can I have that though? Oh man. I could have maybe killed. But I missed. Look at that slow. I'm just gonna do this. He might be able to steal it, honestly, but I'm gonna go for it anyways. My damage is a lot better than I would think it would be. That is not good for me. Alright. It's not bad, actually. I'm going to get my blue buff. I didn't get his blue buff, but I did get mine and I got red buff, so I'm cool with it. Oh, wow, my camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> Just the forehead of a giant snake in my face. Interesting. <laughs> That's really funny. Dude, imagine I beat a Kronos with a Yorm, though. I am just goaded if that's the case. What's my cooldown on my one? 11 seconds? Oh, because I don't have the, the cooldown from blue buff. Hello. I'm stacking tablet. Do you mind? I missed. Fuck. All right, now I need cooldown. There's a part of me that just wants to go straight Chronos Pendy. But the smarter part of me is like, why not just go into... Hold on. Oh my God, that damage output. Nice. Another tablet tick for me. Another another tabby tick. Oh, okay. I'm just missing. Honestly, 
Give me a tabby. I can't hit him. I can't hit this guy. I can't hit this guy. What an annoying little pest. What an annoying little pest he is. Nice. Another tabby stack. I'm down to just sit here and poke all day, brother. All day. I don't have the cooldowns yet, but I'll do it anyways. Don't think I won't. I missed. Interesting. Nice. <laughs> you are so fast, my dear man. Oh, but another stack. I am slowly getting up there, dude. I'm gonna use my uh, my horn shard there just because more damage. Oh, perfect. Fuck that up for me. Nice. I was a little bit scared. He did use his med and his horn shard, so I was a little scared that I was just going to get clapped the second that he showed up. But thankfully, he missed his three, which gave me the opening to do everything I needed to do and not get insta-gibbed by it. Now, this this pickup is a little bit of a, of a, a ballsy move, we'll say. A bit of a ballsy move. Because... I actually like my beads being NG, I think. Because uh, I don't have defense. So I have the beads if I get confuzzled like that. Yo, my pool, my little ooze pool actually clears. What's my cooldown? 8.8. Oh, I really thought that you were going to run away. There we go. Just dropping down the Ool's pools everywhere I can to start stacking that tablet. And also spitting on him on all occasions. Now, I know he has Bancroft, so I'm never going to kill him. But I don't care about killing him. I just want my later game prospects to be a little bit better. Okay. He altered that. I would not have expected him to. I would not have expected. Oh, I really thought that would have worked. Now that one will not kill, but it will weaken them enough where I can clear this and circle back around to kill it with this one. That was the game plan.
Nice, I got the buff. Oh, I might be deceased. Oh my god, that one hit me for 416. Honestly, I do deserve it. Let's just let's be real. I went book, tablet, chronos pendant. I was a I was a tad bit greedy. So I'm not gonna say that I didn't deserve that that death. Now that I have Genji's. That's nice. I do lose my tower. That's not nice. Your middle tower has been destroyed. You How did that hit me? My large and in charge hitbox. Oh, interesting. The tick damage of me spreading my pools with my three doesn't actually count. Okay. My blue buff. Oh, you're dead. Nice. So I have max cooldown. What I don't have is a tower. I don't have a tower. I don't really even have that much damage. I will need a divine, actually. Well, let's go the divine right now. I'm at 30% cooldown, but I have a blue buff. So that's gonna that's gonna keep me going for a while, I think. Never again will be <laughs> he went Telkines and Poly, so he's triple lifesteal right now. I think my next item is just a pestilence. I think I have all the poke damage I need or want. And I think from now on, all I wanna do is do what I've set up to do. Just poke. Poke all game. Go portals. If he steps in those, does he take damage? Interesting. They proc the vine, but do not proc the other thing. Whatever else it's called. You're alting here. I'm not delusional. Okay, I'm dead. Ow. I didn't think that his poly would hit me for 500 damage. That's my mistake, I guess. Um... Well, you know, it's Yorm, so it can't all be winners. In fact, I'd argue Yorm is probably the worst guardian. Well, maybe not the worst. Kepri. Interesting. I think Yorm is the second worst guardian. Yeah, because there's Kepri, 
I have to go look. Hold on. Uh, Guardian. Ares is better. Audio is better. Athena is better. Alice is better. Bacchus is better. Cabracken is better. Cerberus is better. Cthulhu. Eh. No, Cthulhu is better because it's ultimate. Cthulhu is better. Fafnir is better. Ganesh is better. Geb is better. Yorm and Gunner? Yeah, you're dog shit. Kepri is worse than Yorm. Goomba is better. Maui. Okay. Wait a second. Maui's alt is good. No, Maui's decent. He has three damaging abilities. They're on really high cooldowns, though. Maybe I think... Would I rather be Yorm or Maui? At least Maui has an alt. Yorm's alt is terrible. Yorm's three is okay. It's a knockup, but Maui's is... Untargetable damage that also stuns when he lands and does damage. So I'm thinking. I'm think, dude, should I just do a car, a guardian tier list in this video? Fuck it. Smite tier list maker. Create a smite god tier list. Poifix. This is so outdated. This only has like 80 gods. Um, create new template. Name, upload, upload a set of images. I don't I'm not doing that. By the way, let me show you what I'm looking at. So we're not just in the dark. Um, monitor capture. So we'll go create a smite God tier list. Up. Uh, okay. This has more gods. Where are the rest of them? Why is there only... How many gods is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14? Okay, this might be all of them. So we'll go through the guardians here. First of all, just pick out all the guardians. Because... I need to even make sure we have them all. But whatever one we don't have, I can just throw in there afterwards, obviously. I don't know why I'm doing this, by the way. I don't know what has overcome me. I hate tier lists. But I'm doing it anyways. Ganesh. Um, Yorm. Kepri. I'm going to rerun through uh, up here and make sure I didn't miss any. Da 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 da. Cupid, Erlang, Gab, hello, Gab. I missed you, sneaky little devil. Kuzumbo and Kumba. And we got Sobek. And we got Terra. And we got. Moja and Ymir and Zing Ten. Okay, I think that's actually all of them. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's 18. 20 gods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's 22. I'm missing someone. I'm missing Sylvanas. Sylvanas. I'm missing one other. It's probably Maui. Yeah, I don't think this, this list has Maui. Unless I'm delusional. Where's M? Morgan Le Fay? Oh, that's the Morgan, technically. Wait. Uh, Medusa? Yeah, okay. So it's missing Maui. So I'll just add in Maui. Okay. Who do I think is the best Guardian? Um, by the way, this is not like, I'm not placing them in their perspective tiers. I'm placing them in terms of how good they are as a guardian. I think Ardeo and Cabracken are the two best guardians in duels. And it's not even close. It's not close. Ardeo and Cabracken can spam and one shot equally as good. Um, Ymir is very, very good. And Athena is very good because of Polly. Sylvanas is pretty good. 
Uh, but would I put Sylvanas in the same category as Ymir? I don't know. I do think Atlas is actually really good. And then let me, let me add, can I add another tier? Can I add tiers? How do I do that? Add a row, add a row below, add a row below. Perfect. Don't pick. Okay. Don't pick category is Kepri and Yorm. For sure. You never want to lock in those characters unless you're paid to do so. That's guaranteed. Um, and then let me add a row above S tier. I'm going to say pick if need guardian. If you need to have a guardian in duel, you play these two or this. And then these go under Atlas and Athena. Geb is also actually just as good because you build him full power right now. He's actually clapping. Um, Sobek is sustainable, but not great because his cooldowns are a little bit too long. Same goes with Ganesh. Same goes with Kumba. Um, actually, I'm going to throw Kuzumbo up with Ymir. Terra is with the Athena group. Sylvanas is either with the Athena group or the Ymir group. I'm going to put this over here, by the way. Um, like, here's the thing. I actually think Athena's up here. Because, like, if I if they're like, hey, you got to play Geb, Atlas, Terra, or Sylvanas, those are all, like, on the same level. But if they're like, you got to play Geb, Atlas, Terra, Sylvanas, or Athena, obviously I would play Athena. So I think Athena goes up one. And then obviously I would pick these four over these three. Um, Cerberus is kind of here as well. He's, he's decent, but his cooldowns are just really long. I think... Ares goes with the Sylvanas group. He's good, but he's got no push. Because you can't... Well, I guess you could technically build him auto-attack, but then you can't kill him with your chains, so I don't know. Uh, Yamoja is going to go under. Uh, Cthulhu is going to go under. Bacchus is going to go... Probably here. Fafnir, I think, actually goes up, and Zing is here. I think this is my tier list. Hold on, let me make sure. I actually think Cthulhu's maybe a little bit lower than Yamoja. I think Ganesh is down here. And maybe Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I want Sobek to go with Ganesh or not. Cerberus is obviously the four. Like, these are the fro the forefronts, I think. I think Kabraken is the best Guardian in Duel. Ardio is a close second. And then Ymir is the head of the S group. I think Geb is the head of the A group. Geb or Atlas, I think they're interchangeable. They're pretty good. And then, like, after these characters, you're going to have a hard time winning with any of these. You know, like if you played five games, you would easily win one of them with one of these characters. If you played five games with these, it would be rough to try to win any of them with these. And then like down here, obviously Kepri and Yorm and, and Cthulhu, like these are the gods that you're like, I'm probably not going to win with them. <laughs> like if I have to log, I would rather play Ganesh than Cthulhu. Yeah, that's true. I would rather play Ganesh than Cthulhu. Cthulhu is really good clear. Hmm. Okay, hear me out. I do think Zingtin is good because his alt got changed and now it does damage even if they beads, which is a big step up. Terra, really long cooldowns. You go down. Bacchus, really long cooldowns. Maybe you go down. And then maybe I put Yamoja up one. No, I no, I played a Yamoja game today and I hated every second of it. I 
I do think Bacchus and Terra get demoted. Okay, this is it. This is the final. I'm not going to think about it anymore. At this point, we're just nitpicking, right? This is what it is. This is my tier list for, for Guardians. By the way, this is just if you're a Guardian, right? This is not other guys. Like, don't go around saying Sam said Ymir's S tier. Because he's not. He's an S tier Guardian. Be specific. If you want me to make a real, you know what? I'll make a real, real tier list right now. Hold on. It's almost done. It's almost done. Give me a second. All right, there it is. Every guardian is D tier. I still say Kepri, Yormar, don't pick category. Kabrakin and RDO are C tier. That's a real guardian tier list. Okay, bye. I love you.